what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i know i look hella crazy right now you can hear noise my son is in front of me playing his ipad but i just deleted my intro by mistake while editing my videos so i am so sorry in advance but i just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that i'm just going to be focusing on the eyes today i'm using a new brand that i never heard of it's called color spell I found their products in Family Dollar, so if you happen to have a Family Dollar next to you, I do recommend buying um, a couple of the products, but just stay tuned to this video to see what I like and what I dislike. Um, so yeah, keeping it really, really short for this intro because I look hella crazy. So yeah, please make sure that you are subscribed if you haven't already. Hit that notification down below so you didn't miss out any of my videos, and thumbs up this video if you do enjoy and yeah let's just get right into it so i did one eye off camera because i really wasn't sure what i was doing and i just like threw any colors together to see how they blend really so let's just get right into it so i'm just gonna prime with my mac soft orchid paint pot i'm just gonna take like the tiniest bit and apply that onto my lid first shade we're gonna go into this palette right here and I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm gonna pack that on to this nice dense crease brush it does have a lot of fallout when it comes off the pan you see right there and then if I you can't see so I'm tapping the excess powder off because it does have a little fallout and I did my face first so I don't want there to be a ton of fallout underneath my eye so I'm gonna take this and I'm just putting that right here on the outer V. I'm not blending it, I'm just packing that on and then slowly just like kind of bringing it into the crease but just ever so slightly. And you see how nice and pigmented that shadow is? So pretty. I'm just gonna keep blending or packing that on. I'm also flickering it like, kind of like doop, 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 doop. <laughs> I'm pressing that and flicking it. And then I'm slowly gonna start like kind of blending it, but I'm not blending it into the crease or anything. I'm just blending it in place just to make it a little softer on the edges. And when I first applied this shade, I was like, holy pigment. I wasn't expecting it to be that pigmented, but bro. And it builds up so nicely. I'm gonna take a tiny bit more gonna take a tiny bit more and just apply that right here as well just to make it a tad bit deeper okay we're gonna go and blend that a little bit more with a nice fluffy brush and I'm gonna take this shade right here this nice like brown with a nice like orangey undertone it's so warm i'm gonna take that and apply that right here above it and then slightly kind of bring it into the crease i do like how these two colors blend together now i do have to go back with that original shade and just build it up just because once we blend it out it starts to kind of disappear and we don't want that to disappear if we want it to stay right into place I'm just gonna kind of build this up right here and I'm using a very light hand to do so these shadows actually blend so nicely like it's unbelievable like I don't have to even blend that much but we're gonna go back to this blending area but I try to use as much um, shadows that I could so now we're gonna go into this palette right here and we're gonna mix this shade right here with this shade so these two right here and we're just gonna place this I know this is so crazy but I just wanted to play around with the shades I'm gonna place that right here into the crease you see that pigment like hello we're gonna apply that right here so we're not bringing it all away we're just keeping it right here and I'm not gonna blend it up so I'm just keeping that right into the crease just doing back and forth motion and then I actually take a this brush right here which is a little smaller and I'm like blending it ever so slightly in circular motions I don't want it to be too high up 
I never mixed cool tones and warm tones like that but I just wanted to test out these shadows as much as I could I was thinking about doing one eye with one undertone and the other cool tone but I was like let me just mix it and see what I come up with so right where that original brown shade was I'm stopping like right there so these two shades I'm gonna like overlap I'm taking that first shade with that brown that's why I said I'll be back to that blending I'm gonna slightly just flick it into the crease right here in the middle where that mauve undertone that mauve shade blends into and just go back and forth so they kind of like blend into each other nothing too crazy and then with this brush that has nothing on it but I was blending this out I'm just like blending it up a little bit more just like that like nothing nothing crazy you know we were just testing the waters so now I'm gonna go in with my NYX glitter adhesive per use you guys know I love this stuff I'm gonna apply that all over the lid just like that and I wanted to go in with this shade right here because it was kind of calling me even though these shades in these palettes they kind of mimic each other a little bit but I was when I was working in the cool tone palette this shade right here was calling me so we're gonna go in with this shade right here it's this beautiful purple with like a pink undertone it's just so gorgeous and when I put it on my lid I was like oh my god that looks so and this shade didn't have fallout so I'm just gonna apply that I'm pressing it into the glitter adhesive so I'm just pressing all over the lid and then we're just gonna go back in with that brown the first the very first shade and we're just gonna blend those two together so there's no harsh line so just going back and forth with each other I'm gonna go back into the two mauve shades and I'm just gonna define this area right here it's not a cut crease I just want it to stand out a little bit more and we're also softening that line where we apply the lid shade Then going in with that second crease shade and just blending out a little bit more. Ooh, I added way too much. Ah, I to add some right here. Added a little too much, so I have to add more on this side. Now I'm taking a little bit more of that glitter adhesive and placing that right in the inner corners. Then we're going to take this palette right here and we're going to take this shade right here. We're going to apply that into the inner corners. This shade right here, you definitely have to build it up. It's a little more on the sheer side. It is definitely a pretty shade. It's just very sheer, so you have to build it up a couple times. So for the lower lash line, we're gonna take that same palette, but we're gonna go into this shade right here. We're gonna smoke that onto the lower lash line. And then I was just curious of what this shade looked like, so I went into that this palette right here and I took this shade right here it's like a soft purpley glitter shadow almost definitely on the sheer side too but it has more glitter than the lid shade so I'm applying that right into the inner portion of the lower lash line just to give a little bit more like I don't know something extra <laughs> I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this liner. This is the the Wet n Wild Multi Stick, the Fantasy Me Maker Edition. I forget the shade, but it's this 
shade right here, but looks like this. It's like a mauve purpley shade. We're gonna apply that into the waterline. And I build this up a little bit, but so crazy that I put my under eye tight lined and it ended up transferring. But I kind of like how it looked because that purple was like smoking underneath. So we're just gonna do the same thing. So I'm black liner to tight line. And then I did a little liner just so close to the lash line to give a little bit more depth, but nothing too drastic. And also when we apply the lashes, the lash band can hide a little bit. So that's it for the shadows. And so let's just move on. The thing I'm going to be using is their mascara. This is what it looks like. Now they had four different ones. There was one for lengthening, which I actually love lengthening mascara, but I kind of like the wand on this one better. The one that was lengthening, it was kind of like almost curved where it was gonna curl your lashes as well. I don't really need that. My lashes are already curled as is. Kind of reminds me of the Maybelline mascara. This is what it looks like, super chunky wand. So this is what the brush looks like. It's almost like a, a number eight almost. That's like the vibe I'm getting. So we're gonna apply this, see how it is. I hope it's good. <laughs> Okay, I do like how the formula is not super thick, but it's not super watery as well. But the only thing is, is that it's not giving me like volume. It's just really coating the lashes. I mean, I'm wiggling it on the roots and kind of like going up. I mean, hold on, maybe I'm talking too soon. <laughs> okay, it definitely gave my eyes life. <laughs> it looks Honestly, it's nice. Like, if I was doing like a no makeup makeup, I would definitely use this because it's super dark. And it did give a little bit more length to my lashes, but nothing crazy. And it really didn't give that much volume, but it is, it, it seems like a good mascara. I don't know how to describe. Like, it's, it just made them more alive. Nothing too crazy, but you know. I do like the tip of this because, like, if I miss any, I could go use the tip. I like that. I like that. I actually like how small the wand is itself in my hand. Cause I feel like when it's like super long, I'm like, but I feel like I could get right in there, like right in there. So I did one layer. I kind of want to do two layers of this mascara just to see how well it builds. And if it gets like chunky or flaky, I hate mascaras that flake, especially when I'm wearing just just mascara and no lashes. I hate how it gives me that flaky look. So we're gonna we're gonna build this up. Okay, so the second layer definitely gave more volume, but I'm the kind of girl that likes like separation. These make them a little bit like stick together. I don't like that in mascaras. I know a lot of people love that where their lashes like come together and it makes it look thicker. I like no separated lashes, so but I mean it's still good I like it I do I do like it it built up so nicely though that it's not flaky and I hate mascaras where you build them up and they're so cakey I mean I'm like you can see the little dots like it's flaky I hate that now I'm gonna apply their lashes these are their Aries lashes this is what they look like they are so pretty, so wispy. I love how it goes from like small to big. It gives you like that nice like winged out effect. They are a little tiny for my liking though, like short. I like my lashes to be a little bit longer, but you never know. Here's a little more of a close up of them. So pretty. Once I took them out, they kind of straightened out. I don't think I'm gonna have to cut these because these are so short. Like, yeah, I'm just measuring them. I'm not gonna cut them. This is what my eyes look like without the mm, lashes. <laughs> it's super dark. I don't know why. My lighting is like right in front of my face, but. So let me just apply this and then I'm gonna take this off and we'll be right back. Okay, so the lashes are on. I'm actually not really feeling them. They are, they're. They're pretty, don't get me wrong, they're pretty, but they're just a little like, lumpy. like, I don't know. 
and I definitely feel like I have something on my lash line which is not the you just have to work with them but I mean I love this style I just don't like how they feel on my eye so the last thing I have from this haul I have their glitter gel right here this is what it looks like I don't even know how to use this but I'm gonna open it up Ow! look at that so holy glitter can you guys see that right there oh my god can you guys see that let me see if I could do like another swatch right here it is so gorgeous you guys it's like a gold glitter with like flecks of pink blue purple silver like oh my gosh do you see that you definitely see the the gold wow that is so crazy so I'm not even sure what I'm just gonna okay let me just take a little bit of this and I'm gonna like dab it right here oh yeah that looks so gorgeous oh my gosh and it's applying so nice it dried like it dried pretty fast but I'm still able to pick up the glitter from my hand and apply it. Oh my god. Oh my this probably has to be my favorite thing so far. That's crazy. Let me just add a little more. So this is the completed look, you guys. I am so shocked. Mind you, I mean this eye look is kind of stupid. But I just wanted to play around with the shadows and see what I come up with and just see how they really perform on the eyes with blending. I'm so shocked at how these shadows are blended. Like, they blended so seamlessly. They were pigmented as F and I just was like, wow. Applying this glitter, holy moskies. This glitter is so so beautiful mind you like I just kind of threw it on it's nothing like crazy but I just wanted to see what it looked like on my eyes honestly it's so pretty I feel like I'm gonna use this with like another look and just apply it like all over but with a brush and see how that looks like but this is just using my finger kind of just dabbing it all over I want to tell you guys a little bit more details about these palettes itself these two palettes right here the 24 shadow palettes these do retail for six dollars and it's super cool like I like th this is definitely like a warm tone eyeshadow which is definitely like up my alley this it's just so gorgeous I love it I love this like little pop of yellow right here and you definitely have some neutrals in here as well and then with this palette right here you have more of that berry pink cool tone look it still has a couple warm tones in here as well but I just like the pops of pink and purple so gorgeous and then the 10 eyeshadow palette these retail for four dollars each and I also like how it's like a warm tone and a cool tone I try to use this shade right here on my lower lash line but I think it would be prettier if I just used it like all over the lid as like a wash of color and then the mascara and then the glitter retails for 250 I liked everything in this collection except for the lashes itself and this comes second to least the mascara but I actually do like the mascara I will use it again but the lashes are definitely something that I wouldn't recommend there's other products that you can pick up as far as lashes that will be even better so I don't recommend picking up the lashes but if you can find these palettes please make sure that you pick them up they're so amazing like for 24 shadows and like they have tons of colors like I am definitely going to be playing around with these again like this silver down here right here this silver oh oh my gosh like this silver looks so pretty I can't wait to use it like they're so pigmented if I can find some links I'll leave it down below but as far as I know like I, I I don't really know where else you can pick this up at 
maybe like Amazon or something. Oh, so on my lips, I forgot to tell you guys, this is the Waterproof Lip Liner by BH Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Nude. I actually really, really like it. It's like a natural lip liner on me. So pretty, I thought it would go so great with this look. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this like little video. I'm gonna keep it really short because it's just the eyes. And yeah, I definitely would pick this up if you have a family dollar next to you. Go check that out. So don't forget to subscribe, that notification button, and thumbs up. And I have nothing else to say, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.